Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am State Representative Janet Yang Rohr, and I want to thank you all for joining us this morning. Uh, I am the State Representative for the 41st District. This includes part of Naperville, Warren and Warrenville, and Bolingbrook. Uh, one of the greatest things, one of the greatest privileges of being a State Representative is working with so many of the great community organizations that are around here and, and really highlighting them for our community, for our district, so that we know a lot of uh, more about the great work that's going on. Um, today, we have Naperville Neighbors United, and uh, I think I could think of no better organization than this one to coincide with uh, Black History Month and some of the things that, that we want to make sure to highlight in our community that's going on this, this month and, and throughout the whole year. Uh, as I'm sure many of you already know, February is Black History Month, uh, but you know, do, do you know how it came to be? Um, you know, after 50 years of honoring and celebrating Black Americans during the week of February, um, during a period that coincided with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, Black History Month was officially recognized as a national holiday in 1976. And it was, um, it was done so to really honor the, the often, um, the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans uh, throughout our, our history and throughout our country. So today we have put together a really great panel in honor of Black History Month that focuses on some of our local efforts to foster inclusion and to celebrate diversity. And, and in fact, that, that mission of fostering inclusion and celebrating diversity, that is the mission of Naperville Neighbors United. And I am so excited and we are so fortunate today to be joined by members of this organization. Uh, today, we have Dr. Benny White, who is a founder of Naperville Neighbors United. And we also have Siley Joshi, who is a board member of Naperville Neighbors United. Um, Siley, Dr. White, thank you so much for being here today. Um, maybe I'm gonna start with just, just some introductions. Uh, Dr., Dr. White, uh, we're gonna cover a little bit more about how Naperville, Naper, Naperville Neighbors United came to be. Uh, right now though, would you mind just please introducing yourself and, and just giving us some background on um, who you are and, and how you're currently involved in the community? Sure, hey, yes, my name is uh, Dr. Benny White. I'm uh, currently on the Naperville City Council. Um, originally from uh, Kansas City, Missouri. I'm a retired, speaking of Kansas City, I, I just had to do that, so sorry. <laughs> but uh, I'm a retired military officer. Uh, what brought me here to this, uh, to Naperville, I was commanding the ROTC at Wheaton College, and uh, that was back in 2005. And our family settled in, and we've been here ever, ever since. So I uh, really look forward to the rest of the panel. Thank you. Awesome. Um, Siley. Siley Joshi is also joining us today. Siley, would you mind introducing yourself and sharing a, a bit about how you're involved with our community? Absolutely, thank you for this opportunity. My name is Siley Joshi. I'm a longtime resident of Naperville, um, was born in India, immigrated here with my family to Pittsburgh and then moved out uh, to the Chicago land area to raise our two sons in Naperville. Um, I am involved uh, with a lot of different projects around town, but one thing that is very passionate to me about is about DEI um, work. That here, I was the past chair of Parent Diversity Advisory Council for seven years of Naperville School District 204. Um, I'm a board member member of Sanjeevani, which is a um, uh, mental health uh, hotline for our South Asian community uh, in the Chicago land area. Um, Art of Inclusion, which is something new that has started in Naperville to make sure that we have inclusive public art in Naperville. Um, and any project that I can lend my name to, I'm happy to get involved. Awesome. Uh, I am uh, I'm looking forward to going into a lot of those details because as I think we'll see, all those activities are really interconnected and really is important to um, that, that you both are bringing all your, your connections to this group. Um, but maybe we'll just start with the basics. Um, uh, Benny, would you mind just start starting to tell us a little bit about what inspired you to, to found Naperville Neighbors United? Sure, uh, uh, Janet. It, you know, uh, when I was running for city council back in 2017, um, I really had this vision of doing some something that would help bring the community together. Actually, we have this national night out that we do every year in the community. Um, but I also thought, I said, you know, what if we had a day where we just called it Meet Your Neighbor Day? 
where we would just go out and you know go through your your own neighborhood, your own street, and just meet someone you probably haven't met. I, I when I grew up, we knew everyone on our block, but we're such a transient um, society right now. We move in, we move out. Jobs take us to place from place to place. I just thought it'd be a great idea for us to get to meet someone. And as part of meeting someone, I was you know the idea was to meet someone who necessarily did not look like you may not have been the same race may not have worshiped the same way may be lgbtq uh anything that is just a little different with the idea of being once you have a little conversation you find out you know we have a lot more in common than we have that's different um so that was initially where i was where uh, my thought process was um anyway fast forward a few months later uh an incident took place in Naperville, and quite frankly, the mayor was looking out his window in his office and noticed someone who appeared to be dumping trash in the DuPage River. So he immediately tried to find out who that person was, and wrote down a license plate, tried to describe the individual. And he, and as part of describing him, he said the person was, uh, seemed to be, uh, was Indian. And, um, and it really, it, brought up a whole lot of a discussion there because uh, folks who were Indian will say, well, how do you know he was Indian? He could have been Pakistani uh, or, or another nationality. Uh, so it sparked some conversations. So once that happened, I, I got with some community leaders and, and wanted to meet with the mayor uh, to discuss some things that we could do to make the community better and, and use this as a teaching moment. And that group uh, came from, it was a diverse group of people that we just sat down and, and, and talked to them. And, and, and then we had a follow on conversation and we decided to say, you know, we needed to, let's create a group that kind of addresses some of these challenges um, because we just didn't have a group like that in Naperville. And uh, that's really how Naperville Neighbors United uh, got started. Uh, and, and since then, we've been able to, to work in the community, do a, do a lot of things. We've had presentations uh in, in over in the uh, municipal center that were live presentations we've done things through zoom uh, especially during the pandemic um, but we were able to bring in someone from different from a different background as i kind of described earlier where they may be hispanic and they will talk to the group and we may have a 90 to 100 people in the room and what is it like to grow up in naperville as a latina or uh, as an African-American, as, as Indian-American. And we would all sit there and we would, when we would learn. And I charged everyone, I said, I, this is an opportunity where you might be a little uncomfortable because we're gonna talk about a few things. Um, and, and people you know, let their guard down a little bit and we were able to do that. We were able to educate our community when it, when it uh, came to un, uh, uh, unbiased uh, learning and where people were, uh, you know, implicit bias, I should say, I'm sorry. And we were able to learn so much in, in those discussions. And then we've had incidents that have taken place in Naperville. Um, I think the most memorable one was the incident that took place over at Naperville Central, where uh, a white student was um, selling a black student on Craigslist as a slave, trying to make a joke out of it. And it just really upset a lot of people for obvious reasons. But we were able to take our platform and, and have a community meeting for people to come out and talk about and address it. And, and you know, it, it was it was an emotional meeting. And people just discussed, uh, discussed, discussed things that were happening in the community and why they were upset and, and things of, of that nature. Uh, even in our Asian community, we've had a, an individual that was uh, attacked on the river walk. We based on that, we were able to put a resolution together with Nancy Chin. Uh, we also were able to communicate with our Asian residents and let them know that because uh, they had no idea that we had uh, Asian uh, leadership within the community. And I recall bringing in our deputy police chief, Bob Lee, and uh, Jackie Gwynn from our, our department chair in the IT department at the city. Um, so it's been an educational experience. It's been an opportunity to have a proactive approach into talking with each other and having an opportunity to meet each other, learn a little bit about each other. And at the end of the day, we're just a better community for it. Yeah, I, I love that origin story. I, I, I didn't know about that myself, um, but what really strikes me is just how how organic that is, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of times we, we see what's going on and, and you, you need to respond to it. And 
Um, and you look around the room, like who's going to do it? And when, when you ask that question, that means it's probably going to be you, right? Mm -hmm. so yes. <laughs> I, I love how proactive you were in, in, in getting that done. Um, you know, one one of the other things I I think strikes me is um, in in just some of the the things you're you were talking about. We're we're talking about this and highlighting this during Black History Month, but but Naperville Neighbors United is really about celebrating all 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 kinds of diversity in our community, right? And and doing it throughout the whole year. Um, so, so, so tell me a little bit about, you know, what are, I guess, the, the cultural groups that are represented and, and what are the mm -hmm. things that, that you all have been working on? Sure. We've, uh, we, everyone's open and, you know, even political uh, uh, differences are, are welcome. We, you know, we, we, as long as we're all trying to get to the same goal, I, I, I welcome anyone, but we, we've had, uh, 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 African Americans, we've no, um, we've had uh, Asian Americans there. We've represent our, our Sikh community, our Indian community, our Pakistani community. Um, um, and Siley, if I'm missing someone, let me know. But uh, it's... So I, yeah, Benny, I, I think it's just a, any group that wants to feel that they want to belong to something larger Absolutely. than their own group. Um, th that's what we really want. I mean, our our organization was based on the principles of building an inclusive community that celebrates diversity, and that means everybody. Um, you know, so there is no designation that you even have to belong to a group. Um, you just want to be able to um, invite people in that have this growth mindset, where they want to learn, they want to maybe challenge their status quo, what. They they've learned throughout their life. Um, they wanna be able to change. They wanna be able to give input. They wanna be able to be validated with their own opinions. And, and one thing um, which I loved is that our very first meeting, Janet, when we started, we just asked a question, what does inclusion mean to you? Um, and that was it. I mean, we just wanted to listen because many times, um, our meetings, we have this great agenda and we have this great plan of what we're gonna do at the meeting and we scrap all of it because people want to be validated and they want their voices heard. So we open up the mic and we just listen. As community leaders, as Benny on city council, we often have many elected officials at our um, events as well. We have many nonprofit leaders at our events. And, and we just need the opportunity sometimes to sit back and say, what does our community need? And some of the words on that word cloud, um, if I could share them with you, um, it was representation, it was a seat at the table, uh, growth mindset, respect, uh, safety, empathy, uh, all of these words that came up in that word cloud is really what Naperville Neighbors is about. Now you're, you're hinting at, at some of it, Right now, but I, I wonder. So, what are some of the um, events that are that you're doing? Um, what are like it, those, that word cloud, for example? Like, what are some of the actionable items that are coming out of that? Yeah. So, events. I mean, um, prior to the pandemic, everything is pre and post, I guess, uh, uh, for most organization. But prior to the pandemic, we uh, really uh, were very good about having in-person meetings uh, once a quarter, um, sometimes every other month, sometimes an organic event would pop up like the, the Ukrainian event or after an incident, um, we would uh, go ahead and just call for a meeting and our rooms would be full. Um, you know, the municipal building, we had to bring Bring extra chairs and we realized we needed all the meeting rooms uh, as it continued to grow. So those meetings will now um, be back in person this year. Our signature event that we decided to do was Juneteenth um, and we were able to do that in person for the first time last year. Um, and we realized that um, Juneteenth is not celebrated anywhere in the western suburbs. So we took it upon ourselves um, to uh, really start, um, you know, uh, this event uh, on a larger scale. And, and Benny can talk a little bit about what we did last year and, and our date for this year as well. Yes, yes, we uh, it, it was a fantastic event. First one ever here in, in, in Naperville. And we'll be celebrating it again on the 17th of June over at Rotary Hill. That's a, a fantastic venue for, for us to do to do this and, we, and we've also celebrated the previous year we had a, a multicultural day where we did we just 
tried to bring in as many different cultures and demographics within the community to just celebrate um, the great diversity that's in this community. Because it's uh, we we understand that when we are a diverse community and we're all striving for the same goal, that just makes our community that much more that much richer of a community. Uh, we just get better products, we get better services, we get to listen to how people feel about certain things. I'm a big believer of not treating everyone the same because we all come from different backgrounds, but it's important that we treat everyone fair. Um, so those are the things we've been trying, we've been able to echo and um, demonstrate throughout the, the time we've been here. Yeah. And Janet, if I, I'll also add one of, I think the most important meetings that we did on Zoom, um, because we realized so many people needed all kinds of help during the pandemic, is that we highlighted our nonprofit resources in the community. Um, mm -hmm. So we brought on groups like Hesed House, uh, Sanjeevani, Family Shelter Services, Mutual Ground, DuPage Pads, Samara Care, Bridge Communities, Habitat for Humanity, DuPage Foundation. I mean, I could go on and on with the number of people that came on and we did this series so that, um, you know, we could really educate our community about the resources that are avail available. We have a very rich nonprofit culture in, in Naperville um, and we wanted to make sure that everyone that needed help knew what resources were there. Yeah, and that, that's so important, I think, uh, to you, you all have such a has such a big platform to be able to take it and and make sure that other people know about what's going on. I, I think is so important. Um, and I know I, I had asked about like what um, actionable items have have come out, and and clearly there have been. But I, I want to also highlight like the the events in and of itself are are so valuable to the community. We we actually have. I'm reading through some of the comments as as we're. Um, posting live on this and we have um, one of our, our shared constituents one of our shared you know community members Sylvia she's saying um, you know she's been to many and in new meetings um, and and in her words um, there was one that was that was very powerful emotional for her and provided community support to the family and to the unity of, of the community and and she wants to express her thanks to mm -hmm. councilman white and to, to Siley for it so just being I think in that group is is very powerful and helpful to community sure. members too. Um, how well? How, how would you say for um, you know people like Sylvia and for others? What's the best way to get involved in in Naperville Na Neighbors United? Sure. Uh, for for us, we 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 have our own Facebook page, that, so we post on there to let folks know what what's coming up, what's going what's going on. Uh, now that the new year has come out as is here, we're gonna really start ramping up again. Um, so that's probably the best way, um, uh, Naperville Neighbors United. If you just go to Facebook, you'll find that. And that's where, um, where you'll find most of the things that we're doing right there. Mm -hmm. And if it's anything um, you want to email us, our, our email is nnu at naperville-neighborsunited.org. So uh, sure. way, um, two great ways to reach us. We'll have a website soon. We're actually working on it right now. So I'll make sure to share that information with you, Janet, once it's live. Great. Great. You know, when we were talking about this before, when we were kind of preparing for, for our chat here, one of the things that, that we, we talked about that I want to make sure we cover is um, kind of the, the underlying principles of, of NNU and, and some of the things that, that you, we were talking about was um, learning and improvement, kind of taking really taking um, a page from the growth mindset uh, principle, right? I think it's something that really uh, guides our schools and how we we want to talk with and encourage our students to grow. Can we can we talk a little bit more about you know how you're using those principles and and what you're trying to do with with NNU? Yeah, well, uh, I think. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You're good. One of the great examples of that is that we partner with different organizations. So, um, you know, we were very um, honored to partner with Asian Americans Advancing Justice, uh, an organization out of Chicago. Uh, and, and we did that with um, the Parent Diversity Advisory Council, with um, District 204, with um, the PTAs, uh, you know, and we put together a program uh, for anti-Asian harassment. 
And it was a training that was run by um, Asian Americans advancing justice. So when you're topic, talking about measurables, uh, we had many, many people in our community take that training program, learn about organizations that are doing this work, even if they couldn't join us that specific day, they could jump on to the hundreds of training programs that um, AAAJ does for the community and, and really, um, you know, go through some of the training that we need, because even though all of us uh, want to be inclusive and, and want to uh, feel like our, our community is this wonderful bubble, we have to work on that. You know, it, it's not perfect, as Benny said from the beginning. Um, and, and all of us have a responsibility to really work and, and educate ourselves. And so that was just one example of where the community came out and said, let us learn of how we can do things better. Yeah, and just to add to that, it, it, the cool thing too, we we didn't know what this thing was going to be like. We just had some things that we felt the community needed, and next thing you know, people want to donate money and all that. We, I'm like, I'm not in a position to collect money from because <laughs> we weren't uh, a 501c3. We are now, but uh, we had to do that so that we could we could grow the the organization. It just made sense uh, to do that. Um, but another thing though, and and uh, Jenna, you asked about some actionable items. I'll tell you, we really what it kind of morphed into as well is the uh, we essentially became more of an advisory uh, council or agency toward uh, toward the city council. We could tell them here's what your community's thinking. Ideally, we we were we were collecting surveys and so on to share with with the city leadership just to give the them uh, me being a part of the city leadership. Uh, an idea of what people are thinking and saying out in the community. So we would always do surveys when we would have our, our meetings. After uh, a few incidents took place, I told you about the one over at Naperville Central. Um, we had um, the, the incident that took place at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, if folks recall that, we had uh, one at Bucky's and so on. This gave us really the momentum into going in and uh and, and updating the city's mission statement uh which now uh it, it basically reads at the very end an inclusive community that values diversity and uh, I, I brought that up at a council meeting and uh, i said we're going to strike while the iron's hot because we need to address some of these things and it passed nine notes with the updated mission statement and if anyone knows have been in a large organization and you start doing vision statements and mission statements it's usually a grueling process every word means something and we did that in you know really record time so i was real proud of the fact that we were we were able to do that but what does that all mean you think about it because it's, there's words on, on on paper right now but what it provides is an opportunity to create policy around these types of challenges and things within the community. Um, for example, now that we have those words in our mission statement, it gave us really the authority to go out and for the first time in the history of Naperville, we created a manager of diversity, equity, inclusion on the city staff. And currently we have Dr. Janice Williams, who's just doing a, a spectacular job in that particular area. We are so blessed to have her services here in the city of Naperville. So she could, she is going out, she's, she's getting a pulse of the community. She's had a lot of uh, uh, meetings where she's just trying to discover what the challenges are and what people think and so on. And now she's providing um, uh, meetings similar to what we were doing with the NNU. So we almost feel like we've got a, a uh, a partner right at the city level that will help enhance uh, what we're what we're trying to do uh, with Naperville Neighbors United. We've even taken our Fair Housing Commission and, and renamed it the Human Rights and Fair Housing Commission because next time an incident maybe at Buffalo Wild Wings takes place, we have uh, a body at our city government that can address that that issue and and if there's potential consequences or uh, an opportunity to learn and teach and someone grow from that from the experience, uh, then I think we've met uh, our desired uh, mission in that particular case. But just, uh, is, uh, I'm real excited about the things I think that we've either directly or indirectly have influenced within the community all from a positive uh, standpoint. 
Yeah, and, and can I say as someone, uh, as an insider on the, the government side, the state government, school board, all, all those areas and, and kind of being, um, you know, great partners with so many people on the city council, um, what, what uh, Dr. White is describing and those actual um, outcomes and things that, that you have affected and changed, that was lightning fast movement. Um, <laughs> government is slow but mm -hmm. the the things that you've been able to actually get done are really amazing um especially especially in in the in the world of, of government and making sure that all your stakeholders are heard making sure that that you know everyone's on board uh it is it is a slog to to get all those conversations going and get everyone agreed so so thank you for for doing that um I, I know how much work it is, and I, I hope our, our community kind of has an idea for for how much work really went into to making all that happen. So thank you very much. Um, you know, we we have another uh, another person in um, who, who's watching this, Amsal, who's asking um, Benny and and, and Siley, uh, how would you suggest um, what what are ways that 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 you you would suggest to to further unite our community? Are there, are there things that, that we can do that individuals should be doing? So I, I actually know Amsel and he's a college student. And I think that's a really important person for somebody that young to ask. Um, you know, as I said before, we all have the responsibility to support, um, to be active, um, to help where we can. Every single person has a gift, has a resource, um, has maybe time, has maybe money, whatever it is that you can give to our community, however much um, you want to get involved, there have to be spaces for you to do it. Um, and we have to get that information out. So someone like Amsel, who is, you know, starting off his career, who's, um, you know, just starting to vote, uh, what, whatever they're interested in, um, they, they should be able to come together in Naperville or wherever they are and find avenues of contributing. When, when you can contribute to something bigger than yourself, it's also a good feeling for yourself as well, and you end up growing. Um, it's, it's really um, what, and I'll go back to this with Naperville Neighbors United, it's really giving a voice to people. I think, uh, you know, my work with PDAC, I learned that every single day, um, is that there are some of us that are loud, that have platforms, that uh, can say what we want, but it's that quiet voice that sometimes comes to your meeting, and when you give them a space that is safe, that is inclusive, um, that they feel welcome, and then they can talk about what is really on their mind or what their concerns are, then we know we've been successful because there are many things that could divide us. We've seen that in our country for the last six, seven years, that we can find things if we want that divide us, but we can equally find things that bring us together. And that's where our time and energy has to be. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, from the state side, uh, I know for a lot of people, it seems daunting to, mm -hmm. to legislate or to make a bill or, or, or whatever, right? But you know, everything that, that we do on the state side, it just, it comes from individuals. Like just, yeah. if, if you see a need, you, you feel like um, there's something that needs to be done, all you need to do is reach out to one of us, right? Like Dr. White, I know you can just, you can always just, just call you up or, you know, your, your, your email, your phone number is on the city council website. Um, and just having those individual conversations really, really help to help us understand how, um, how to serve the community and, and what you need us to do. So, um, talk a, maybe let's talk a little bit about the, the younger generation and, and how to get them involved. Um, I, I, I feel old these days <laughs> when, I, when I talk to some of our community members, but, but you know, I, I think we, we all want to try still, right? We want to bring them in and, yeah. and they're, they're so important to, to the cause. They, they are, they are. And, um, you know, a, a lot of it comes down to having the desire to want to learn and to get better. I've, I have seen people who've come to meetings and have left conversations in tears because they didn't know certain things were happening or going on and so on. So some of this comes down to, to being able to educate each other on certain things. Um, 
here's here's one that I thought was very powerful, especially when it comes to our young people. Um, after uh, the incident took place over at Naperville Central, um, initially I would probably say there was the, the, a general uh, maybe thought process with the leadership that okay, this incident happened, let's deal with it. And we'll move on because you know, we've got a great school. These types of things don't happen here. Um, I, but one thing I did, I, I kind of challenged the leadership only because the, the, what kind of bothered me as well is that the, the young man who did this was comfortable enough to go around the school and show people and get a laugh out of it. To me, that kind of gave me a sense of what the, that the culture wasn't where it needed to be. So I was glad that the leadership looked into that and came back and, uh, you know, Dan Bridges said, you know, what, we've got an issue here. And he wasn't going to just sweep it under the rug as, as a one time thing. We we're going to work on a few things. So that's where I felt we really, we really learned as part of that. Um, I think Jesse Jackson, either personally or some representatives from uh, the Rainbow Coalition even came up to Joliet, I mean, Joliet Central, uh, uh, to Naperville Central to talk with the students and so on. I mean, more, they more or less challenged them that, hey, when you see these types of things, step up, don't be silent, don't be part of it, don't be complicit in what's going on. Um, great discussion. Fast forward a few months later, uh, maybe a year later, I'm not sure the time frame. But we had the incident that took place in, in Minnesota with George Floyd. Um, and we were seeing protests all over the country. And Naperville had our protests as well. But I remember that, I think it was June 1st. Um, and we were there was a protest uh, in the afternoon. It was going to different places. It eventually uh, ended at the police station. But I, mar I walked with the protesters there. I wanted to understand what, what they were saying. I was hurt by it as an African-American male. Um, I've seen things myself and have heard from my other uh, friends um, in other places, especially where I grew up, where you would see these types of things take place. But if you looked at the demographic of the protesters that were marching in that parade, I would probably say 70% were were white and they were all and they were a lot of them were if not most were high school kids mm -hmm. and i just made me think man they they have stepped up just as they were challenged to do months prior uh to being a part of it so um uh, my hat's off to them those are the types of things that allow the community to grow and uh there's there, and when you do it i know there's always a sense where certain people want to get defensive and thinking that uh, well, you know, this is Naperville. We don't have these issues, and in one of the what I call, you know, in the, in the, in the NFL, we talk about defending the shield. You know, the NFL shield. We don't want to make the league look bad, but sometimes there's there's a sense of we don't want Naperville to look bad, and we think these incidents make our 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 community look bad. That's that's really not the point. It's really the hey, if we have an issue, let's deal with it, and that's how we grow and we get better. Uh, so if we take that positive approach to it, I think we're, uh, we'll, we'll definitely grow. We, and understand this, every community in America, I don't care if it's, if it's Naperville, who's the number one city in the nation, or if it's another city, we're one basically George Floyd incident away from all hell breaking loose. You really think about it. Um, so what's going to happen in your community if that were to occur? By us having Naperville Neighbors United doing the things that we're doing within the community allows us to take more of a proactive approach into dealing with whatever may occur or come in, in our future. Because we've been out in the community, uh, we're building trust within the community. So uh, you know, if and when this work this occurs in Naperville, we're, I'm hoping that we'll have the trust of the community that their elected leadership will do the right thing to get this things to get the, the situation resolved. Yeah, one one hundred percent, and and I, I'd say, from what I've seen, I, I've been able to see um, from my position so many other communities and how they operate, 
And one thing that has struck me over and over is just how lucky we are in, you know, the services we have, the law enforcement, the electeds, like everyone just and, and the mm-hmm. community just working so well together. But as I, I think you're you're saying, the thing is, you can always get better, no matter how great you are, no matter how many um, lists mm-hmm. uh, you're topping as a community. We can always get better. And and what I love about Naperville Neighbors United is that you're you're there pushing us forward and making mm-hmm. sure that we're not standing still. Yeah, I, I'll tell you. I mean, as soon as you think you've made it, that's when you're starting to go the other way. Yep. So you, that's that's you always are looking for ways uh, to get better. And you know what? And you know one thing we we found as well, and uh, Siley will, will attest. We we were having meetings, and there were people in the room. We didn't. We don't know who most half the people are in the room because they're coming and I, I love it because they're here to learn and get better. But we've, we've had uh, meetings and sessions in afterwards. I've had people who were mayors of other communities mm-hmm. who heard about what we were doing and wanted, and wanted to learn so they can take those lessons and apply them to their own community. I mean, I, specifically the mayor in Geneva was at, at one of our sessions and, um, and I heard what you all were doing we were having some challenges in our own community. We want to figure out some ways of making things better. So that that's just an added thing. If if someone from another community can learn and get something from what we're doing here, uh, and it, it makes the whole it, it, it gravitates to the rest of the state, and we all get better for it. So I'm real happy about that. Um, we have uh, another person. Um who's sending in a question. So this is Isaiah, and maybe I'll roll this into another kind of like a bigger picture um, thing. So, you know, Isaiah is wondering what, what's next um, for, for Dr. White, what, what's next for, for Naperville Neighbors United? Like what is your, what, what would you ideally look like three, five years from now? Hmm. So anyone I, Go ahead, yeah, so I, I can't answer for Benny, but I can kind of, <laughs> Some ideas for Naperville Neighbors United. Our our goal is uh, now we are a 501c3 organization. Um, so we will work this year on, on really um, structuring the organization, um, uh, inviting more people to join us, uh, either at a board level or at a committee level, um, you know, and, and just growing the organization, maybe even doing a survey or a study about what the needs are of the the community. Um, you know, what the needs were pre-pandemic are very different than what the needs are post-pandemic. Um, you know, mental health is a is an issue that our community is battling with uh, on all levels, what, no matter what age or who, what you look like or what faith you are. We know that people are struggling. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll do some internal work ourselves to figure out what our focus will be. Um, we'll start having these uh, in-person meetings um, we'll do our large events like our cultural day and our Juneteenth event. And then we just want to hear from the community what it is that they need. And, and uh, we started organically. And I think that organic path is actually really good for an organization like this. Um, because we're not here with a strict mission of just doing what the seven, eight of us on the board want. We want to be here for the people. All Naperville Neighbors United is, is really a catalyst for changing our community, for growing our, our mindset. And, and unless we listen to what people need, then um, to me, that's our success when we meet the needs of where our residents are. Yes, and I'll, I'll even add to that. The great thing we recall uh, is we have a director of diversity, equity, and inclusion now at the city level and our ability to uh, collaborate with Dr. Williams is going to be awesome. I almost feel like we might, we may even be the working arm of what she's trying to accomplish. So, uh, and, and that will definitely help us when it comes to, you know, outcomes and uh, of what we're, you know, what we what we were discussing earlier, uh, some actionable uh, items and things that we'll we'll be able to do uh, for within our city staff, uh, as well as other uh, uh, city organizations, and definitely within the residents in our community. Yeah, I, I hope one of the things that people um, listening, watching this today, really get is that sometimes it's just starts with an idea and mm-hmm. and it's just putting the work in to to do it right um mm-hmm. just like like the both of you and your your leadership team have done you just you just 
look around, see a need and, and you fill it. And that's, that's really amazing. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, for doing that mm -hmm. um, and, and for all your work in the community. Um, you know, I, I think we don't have any other questions, so I, I might just wrap it up at this point and um, again, uh, leave it off with as, as, as we as we wrap up. Um, is there anything that, that you want to make sure that, that you talk about or that you want to highlight anything that we missed in um, or anything you want to share with our, our community? Um, I will say this, uh, we're, 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 we're actually, um, Siley is in the position right now where she's actually going to be leading the effort more, more so, um, so I have other things happening, but I'm still going to definitely be involved with the, with the organization. But, um, uh, I, I want to make sure people understand that, 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 that Siley, Siley Joshi, and I'm not just saying it's cause she's on the call with me here, but she is a gym here in our community that is she's not just talking the talk she walks the walk and she's the perfect choice to take uh in you into the future so i uh, just want to make sure everyone rallies behind siley uh get involved you can still call me uh call siley uh get connected with us and uh, we're going to do what we can and to ensure that our community continues to progress in the in the, in the right direction Thank, thank you, Betty. And, and my, um, my, I guess, last comment would be come and join us. You know, um, we are a very inclusive organization. Um, we want your ideas. We want uh, to hear about your lived experiences. We want to hear about what courageous conversations you want to have. Um, uh, you know, we are here with open doors. Um, and, and I want to thank you specifically, Janet, for, for even highlighting us today. Um, I am, I know from the work that we've done, you are always supporting our events. You are absolutely accessible to your constituents. And, and that's, um, that's a great gift to our community as well. So thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you for, for, for those very kind words. Um, you know, this is this is wonderful. I want, I want to thank you both, uh, Dr. White, Thaley, for for taking the time to to be with us today, and, and for taking the time to share with us your your passion, really, and and the exciting work that you're doing with with um, NNU. Um, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah, and I and echo what Sally said uh, for you, uh, uh, Representative. You're, you you've been fantastic in, in what you've been doing down in Springfield and supporting Naperville and in in even the issues. And challenges that we were discussing uh, here today. Uh, you, you've been there, uh, and, and I really appreciate that, and appreciate all the hard work that you've been uh, been doing for Naperville. Thank you, and thank you for having this. <laughs> this has been awesome. And uh, that work is going to keep continuing. Don't worry, I have lots of things on my list <laughs> for us to work on together. So Absolutely. we'll we'll keep doing that. Um, Thank you, everyone, again for for taking us uh, for for taking the time to to join us today, and especially those those listening. I know um, there are lots of things that you can be doing with your time, especially uh, a Saturday morning. So so thank you for that. Uh, you know, one I'll I'll just put a few things out, a few housekeeping items out. Um, if you ever have any questions about anything that you're seeing today or anything else that you see going on, just just even in the community, we are all I know happy to to chat and to kind of think through these these issues with you. Um, so for for us, um, my office, uh, if we can ever provide you with anything, um, please contact us. Um, my uh, contact info is uh, info at repyangroar.com, uh, or you could always call the office at six three zero two nine six four one five seven um we have uh, lots of events going on at least a few every month um uh, later this month we have a coffee and conversation uh, it's going to be on february 25th it's going to be in our district office and you can always find more info on the website uh, which is repyangroar.com uh, next month, uh, we are looking at a, uh, a very local um, topic, and it's going to be uh, in conjunction with Women's History Month. We're going to be looking through the eyes of Carolyn Martin Mitchell um, and the huge impact she has made in our community and, and in Naperville. Uh, again, thank you, everyone, uh, for, for joining, for taking the time, and, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs>